What's going on with you? I don't feel well. What are your symptoms? I feel nauseous. Hey Google, symptoms of morning sickness, unrelenting severe nausea, persistent excessive vomiting, dehydration, rapid heartbeat, headaches and confusion. Jeez, <laughs> sounds horrible. A walking, puking, confused mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, what just happened? Should I just recycle this? Uh, yeah. How long does it take? Two minutes. Not preggers according to that thing. Okay. What a waste of $12. Oh, but there's another one. Save this for later. How's it feel to be preggers? Weird. Yeah? Weird. I get tired really early, but then I wake up kind of early. I can't go back to sleep. Um. Uh, and then I pee a whole lot. My boobs really hurt. Mm -hmm. I snooze a lot. Yeah, you've been sneezing a lot. Yeah. It's not a weird pregnancy thing, this is a normal thing. Mm -hmm. Hey babe, what you washing? Uh, nothing right now. What were you watching? A video of somebody giving birth. How was it? It's scary. I was in the kitchen cutting pineapple and I kept hearing, oh gosh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What was scary about it? Oh, it just seems so horrible. All of it. Is it helping things to watch these pregnancy videos, do you think? I don't know. Is it making it better or worse? I mean, I get, it's good to know all the things that could possibly happen. Yeah. And all the things that do happen. You know, it's just like you don't know what it's going to feel like. Mm -hmm. So just that kind of anxiety of not knowing what it's going to be like. Mm -hmm. And not being able to control what's going on with your own body. Mm -hmm. So that goes over your pants because you can't button your pants, is that right? Well, it's, you don't have to button your pants. Uh-huh. I can not button my pants in the mornings, but then by like midday, it hurts. You still don't look like you have much of a belly. It feels like it. It feels hard and protruding. And you don't look fat. Well, I feel like my face looks really fat. Nope. It feels like I'm laying on a balloon when I lay on my belly. Mm-hmm. Like there's a balloon inside me, like squishing all my stuff around. How do you feel about that? It's weird and different. I think it's, uh, I think it's cool. Good portable thing. I keep saying that. I think this is the only thing that we're going to buy. <laughs> we didn't even buy this. We found it on the damn streets. Yeah, we're done. You didn't see all the cute cribs that I found. Who needs a cute crib? Uh, our kid needs a cute crib. Uh-oh. You aesthetically want to look at this every day? Yeah, I don't care. It's, gonna, it's only going to be used for, what, like two years? A year? Yeah, it's a piece of furniture. We're going to have to look at it every day. Looks fine to me. You should look at the other ones that I found. I just don't see why we would have to buy anything. I mean, I'm sure somebody in the neighborhood That's has one of those. so cute. It's so wasteful. It Get a mint green or cut candy pee. <laughs> oh my god, what if we got bed bugs from this? So six months? In month six. How do you feel? Bloated. I feel like I look pregnant. Yeah, it's true.
Got a nice looking belly. Yeah. Does it move around a lot? What? The baby. Yeah. Yeah, what's that like? It's weird, but then you easily ignore it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Have you gotten any special privileges for being pregnant? Like what? People getting up for you or being extra nice? No. Hmm. Because I don't think it's like, oh, obviously she's pregnant versus like, oh, she could just be fat. <laughs> you know? You seem to be a little bit more at ease than you were before. What do you mean? Not as anxious. <laughs> Maybe you've accepted what's going on and what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Not thinking about it. Yeah. <gasps> Maybe I should just save all of Game of Thrones. Mm hmm. For it? So watch Game of Thrones while you're giving birth? Yeah. So it'll just be like complete distraction. <laughs> oh, the whole season will be out then? The whole new season? Maybe. Yeah, you do really get into that show. Yeah. Uh, I think I think you figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the uh, symptoms of shortness of temper. How has that manifested itself? It's not shortness of temper, it's just... Less patience for bullshit. Uh Uh-huh. And less patience for me in general. More annoyed. And your bullshit. (laughs) And my bullshit. What's my bullshit? Just, you know, stupid questions. Stupid. Stupid interviews. interviews. (laughs) (laughs) No, like when you were like, oh... Is this from the CSA? Uh. Oh, is this from the CSA? Did you eat this? What? Wow. <laughs> trying to make a meal plan, trying to figure out what's going on. And I apologized after asking a couple questions and realizing I, I could have looked it up for myself. I know. I'm just giving you an example. It really stuck with you. Mm-hmm. You know, infidelity skyrockets among men after a first child. Oh. Yeah. Is that a threat? No. <laughs> Just giving you a little context. (laughs) Dear Duncan, I am writing to let you know that we are making arrangements to commence renovations to the apartment located at 96 Second Place, parlor level. The renovations will require it to be vacant for a long period of time. Please accept this letter as your 60-day notice. We appreciate your cooperation. What now? That's just not true. That's not a true statement. It's not a fact. It's how it makes me feel. Uh Uh-huh. You feel like a bad parent because of this? Because our landlord is a jerk? Well, it just feels like we're not prepared. We're going to have a place for the kid to stay no matter what. Uh Uh-huh. Don't you think? We're not going to be out on the street. I know. I mean, it goes back to just like, you know, not having enough money for it. We can't afford a place big enough. Big enough? We can afford a place that's big enough for a kid until they're like four or five. Where? We can't find a place that we can afford. We've been searching for enough. two days. Uh-huh. You, you could move in with your parents. I know. Oh, Liz. Are you all right? Yes, I'm okay, but I'm trying not to freak out because I don't want them to fuck up the baby. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck up the baby. I think the baby's gonna be okay. Uh huh. Vacuum sealed. (laughs) Thank you, honey. You're welcome. So nice. What's going on? my ribs and it hurts. Cut it out, baby. 
Man, you got a big belly. Shut up. I can't believe you got two months to go. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter's good. That's an end with mattress. Okay, and do you have sheets for the mattress? Yeah. So your uterus is basically coming up, like out and in. Also, some doctors will like manually like massage your perineum as you're being If you do out. end up having an induction, I would recommend bringing like an iPad or a computer or something because you're gonna have some time to just chill. And what's happening here? What What is this? <laughs> and what has it started to do? Dilate. Dilate. As verbal consent for all procedures before beginning, open to medications to manage pain, but want encouragement to try other options first. We would like all interventions discussed with our doula present. Delayed cord clamping and cutting until pulsating has stopped naturally. What about a mirror? I don't want a mirror. Huh? I don't want a mirror. Do you want a mirror? You can no, just do that. Uh, we would like to see the placenta. No pacifiers or bottles, no formula. <laughs> All right, you want to go first? Yes. Okay, what do you want to ask me? Does you have black hair? I do have black hair. Um, so now you got to put down all the people who don't have black hair. Bye. Bye. Um, what day do you think your baby will come? Yesterday. Tomorrow. Hopefully not tomorrow. You know, what should we name the baby if it's a boy? Maybe we or name it like maybe like George the monkey. George the monkey, the baby. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a long name. <laughs> oh, I kind of love June. That's a good name. Can it's that a, be a male or female name, or is that? No, just these are just ladies. Yeah. I love Ruby, but I do know a lot of Rubies. I do not think she will be. Alone in the Ruby. One, one. She'll be one of many. Like I really love June. Simon's. And when good. I look at you guys. Yeah, but a June born in June. Thanks. Where'd you get these? It's a little on the nose. Yeah. yeah. Is this one for <laughs> <you too? laughs> Perfect. everything that I eat. The baby? No, my stomach. Tried eating fruit this morning, it didn't like that. Tried eating potato pasta salad, it liked that, but then it really didn't feel good. Mm. So there is no pleasing my stomach right now. Are you over it? Yes, but no, because I know what's going to happen when it means that I'm over it, so... No. <laughs> Researchers at Duke University just calculated the ultimate limit of human endurance. Pregnancy is close to max. A recent study of both participants in extreme sporting events like the Tour de France and pregnant women found that one of the most extreme things a human body can go through is apparently running a 3,000 mile race or being pregnant. How do you feel about that? <sighs> I think... Oh, it'll be better than running a 3,000 mile race because I hate running. <laughs> Are you still in denial about having a kid? Yes. In denial about the experience of giving birth or the reality of having a third person in our lives that we have to take care of? Both. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
can grab it. In the oh. corner? Well, there's shot meat right there on the ground. So, oh, shit. On the ground? Yeah, to the oh, right. Oh, that red dot? Yeah. If we have a record-breakingly large kid, that'd be funny. Wouldn't it? Yeah. What if he comes out with long Fabio locks? That would be very... That are red. Surprising. How are you feeling? I hate my body and I hate this baby. Because <laughs> it's not getting out of my body. It's not the baby's fault. Why? Baby can't control it. Well, then who can? The doctor, when we get induced, probably, this week. I'm feeling fine. Also, fun fact is we are moving on Sunday, so that obviously puts a little pressure on us. Yeah, they're doing construction on the apartment upstairs, so I figured it would be easier to not be around that with the newborn at home all the time, so we decided to move up our move update. Do you find it ironic that for such a long time you were terrified of labor and now you kind of can't wait for it to happen? Uh, I can't wait for it to happen because otherwise it's going to fuck up our moving schedule. <laughs> what? What if I go into labor on fucking Sunday, on our move day? Or if I'm like in the midst of it on Sunday? Then we're fucked. I'm fine. It's really not that big of a deal. Something that we can't figure out. How is it not a big deal? Uh, we'll get somebody else to move our crap while we have a baby. Uh-huh. Everybody who would move our crap all cares about seeing the baby. That's not true. They care about seeing the baby, but they don't need to see the baby. We can have people come in and drive our stuff up there. <laughs> Sorry, you can't see the baby until you move all of our stuff. I'm not talking about your parents. I'm talking about my friends like Adam. Uh-huh. The point is we'll figure it out. Uh-huh. Because we have to. Yeah. We will. Uh-huh. There's no scenario that results in disaster. It's all a disaster. It's already a disaster. You don't have anything tonight. Can you take somebody off and put her? <laughs> huh? No, I cannot go such a thing. We're going to be too cool to me, isn't it? Huh? How about tomorrow then? She asked me to check. Uh, yes. We're going to send that to the paper to deliver. Any surgeries for you in the past? Uh, no. Any blood transfusions? No. Any allergies to medication or food? No. Any drinking drugs at the hospital? Can uh, currently, no. Okay. <laughs> Any recent travel out of the country in the past three months? No. Um, single, married, divorced? Married. Are you going to breastfeed, bottle feed both? Breast. And do you know if this is a baby boy or girl? Uh, I do, but he doesn't, so... Found really? It. Found it by accident. My doctor, like, my first doctor emailed me the report because I was had to transfer. Right. And he was like, don't open the report. It was like the nine week, How like, blood thing. So I didn't it. open oh, it. Did but, it. Like, I opened the email and Google previewed it so it had a little symbol. So you didn't want to know either? Yeah, but it's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not the end of the world. I wouldn't be able to not know. So <laughs> I'm with you. My husband didn't want to know. I'd be like, you can know. <laughs> but I'm going to know. Yeah. Um, it was okay, very exciting. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Um, is this going in? Oh wait, is the tomato chop? Okay, this one can go in. That one in the middle. Okay, put it in the oven. Yeah? For ready? For what? To go back on the monitor. Oh yeah, totally. To hear your baby's heartbeat. Yeah, totes. <laughs> Then 
left the boat and set out for my hotel where I was to pay Miss O'Shaughnessy and receive the bird. <laughs> well, sir, we mere men should have known that on the route. How do you feel? Uncomfortable. We've been here close to 24 hours. You've had two cervical softener medications. Mm -hmm. We're waiting to see the doctor again to find out if we should advance to Pitocin or, or what. How are you feeling? Is it strange to see your baby going through the process of having a baby? It's not strange. It's exciting. It's, um, I'm excited. I'm just excited. Was Liz late or on time or? She was a week late. A week late. Uh huh. Was it like, wow, this is harder than I imagined or? Mm, I don't know. I think it's really funny because they say that like. I'm sorry? She screamed a lot. Did I? I don't know. I don't remember that. But I think they tell you that, like, you don't really remember how bad it is, otherwise you'd never do it again. Right, <laughs> and right. I did it two more times after Elizabeth, so. My sister said don't get offended if Liz curses me out, because she probably won't remember it. I don't think I... Did I curse you out? Yes. Okay. What did I say? Was I mean to you? I can't remember from 30 years ago. I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, three... <laughs> Don't laugh at me. You're making a funny face. Yeah. Because this is absurd. This is ridiculous. What about it makes you feel crazy? Well, just like you're like, oh, okay, cool, blah, blah, blah. And then you're like, oh, yeah, like the worst like bad you so <sighs> Hi, Mom. Liz got the epidural and she's feeling uh, much better. She was having a lot of trouble with the contractions and uh, still concentrating hard during the contractions, but talking and smiling and laughing in between, so that's good. I would guess probably like one to two minutes apart, if that. What does it feel like? Yeah. Not much right now. My feet feel a little like, but not really that. Yeah. Well, outwardly, you seem much happier. Amanda, please call me. Amanda, to the phone there. The timing of that epidural couldn't have been better. My legs are feeling a little tingly.
settled in and we'll just be dealing with the people. Three. Twenty-four. Good card number. Hi kitchen, hi windows, say bye bye to the apartment that you never knew baby. We're suburbanites now. We'll be back. Yeah. So long, apartment. You're my favorite. Hello. Hi. Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? Who's a happy baby? It's Ruby. It's Ruby. <laughs> so looking back at all that footage, yeah. how does it make you feel? I mean, it just feels like another lifetime. <sighs> Living in Brooklyn. I miss all of our friends out there, for sure. Yeah. yeah. You were very anxious about moving here. Yeah. How do you feel now? Well, I was very anxious about moving here, but it was a blessing because having a kid is so tough. Yeah. So just having my parents there being like, here, here's cooked food was like the nicest thing ever. I literally like cried. They've been time. great. <laughs> They've been great. Yeah. If you could time travel to a year ago, what would you say to yourself? Be more worried about after the baby comes out than you are about the childbirth process. <laughs> Why would you say that? Because it's just like a roller coaster of like all these decisions that you're suddenly in charge of and it's something new every single day that you need to figure out how to do. So I would have done some more prep in terms of newborn care and baby care. Yeah. <coughs> Because yeah. we had a tough, everybody has a tough first month or three months. Yeah. But, like, she had a lot of issues with breastfeeding, and that was such a dream. Jaundice. Yeah, jaundice because of the breastfeeding. Yeah. Yeah. Which is very emotionally, mentally, physically draining. Yeah. How do you feel about being a mom? You're a great mom, by the way. No. Yeah. No. You did a great job. No. Every step of the way. No. Look at this fine looking baby. You're a great dad because now you're the favorite parent. Oh, that's just a phase they go through. Yeah, it's okay. So it'll, it'll move right on back over to you. I know. At some point. What about people who My just love had love a baby and who are stuck love home love now? That must be really tough. That must be really tough. But yeah. if you have any questions, let us know. I'd, I'd be happy to help out. We're Seriously. Like experts now? No, we're not. We are not experts. But like, it's just so overwhelming. I keep on telling the story of like when we were in the hospital. Every single nurse, every single doctor, every single person around gave us different advice about breastfeeding, about <coughs> swaddling, about different things. And like, everybody says, you gotta do it this way, you gotta do it that way. And you know what? There is no one right way to do it. Yeah. You just gotta try a bunch of different things and see what works for you. I feel like there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Maybe we should do it in a separate video. Yeah. I think you'd have a lot of good insights. Yeah, I think we should do an Instagram Live Q&A. Okay. Yeah. I think that's a great idea. That's what everybody's doing these days. When should we do it? Uh, you want to do it on... When are you releasing this? Tomorrow. Thursday. Tomorrow's Thursday. Let's do it a week from Thursday. Okay. Instagram Live. Thursday. Next Thursday. We'll see you there. <laughs> Does she need a diaper change? I changed her before we shot. Cool. Thanks everybody for sticking with us. Yeah. We'll we miss see you, you guys. guys soon. Stay safe, stay sane. <laughs> <laughs> and then you fall over. <laughs> I didn't fall over for the record.